Hello and welcome. Welcome to Yoga Solutions with me, Mark J. Aquaviva. Today I thought I'd look at shoulders. Um, a lot of people have neck and shoulder problems and um, yes, I thought I would offer some um, ways of using them that will help you f uh, free up their range of movement, um, take their weight off the neck so your neck doesn't get heavy and tight with it. Um, just better ways of using your shoulders, okay? So, um, <clears throat> the biggest issue, uh, one second, the biggest issue is uh, usually in simply lifting your arms, um, especially in yoga, because <laughs> when, when you're taught to lift, uh, when you're told to lift your arms over your head, you do that, uh, and you end up lifting with your shoulders, and you try and do the opposite at the same time, but you end up being tight around the neck and throat. Um, so, a simple way of um, understanding how the arms can come up without you lifting their weight is to do this. So, if you if you grab hold of um, a wrist or a couple of fingers, it doesn't matter which hand, you can swap them around any time. And you might lift with your shoulders to bring your arms over your head, but once you get there, I'd like you to firmly hold on to whatever you grabbed hold of and let your shoulders drop from the support of the arms. So there's, there's support from your own hand holding the other one and from that your left shoulder can drop and your right shoulder can drop. So there's a feeling of letting go and it's a, a kind of pulling wide feeling. And you can see what happens when I take that support away. If I, if I stop um, sort of pulling wide from my fingers, what happens? My, my, the muscles around the shoulders and the neck catch the weight in order to hold the thing in position. So that, that little action of just um, engaging, it's not just hanging, hanging wide, although the, the re relaxation of the shoulders is the important part. There's a kind of pulling wide. Like you're trying to pull um, your elbows wide into space, despite the fact that the fingers are stopping uh, anything from going anywhere. And with that, with that going on, if you were to open up your limb, if you were to open up uh, this right arm here over there, um, you might notice that the shoulder doesn't come up with it. The arm straightens with the hand moving away, and the shoulder anchoring down with the ribs on the side that you're opening up. Um, you can swap fingers if you like, try the other one. Whichever one's being held is the easiest one to uh, experience. So I'm holding onto my left fingers now, pulling with my right a bit. So when I decide to straighten my left arm, instead of it being a thing that, does, that lifts with the, el with the elbow locking, the shoulder anchors down as the hand moves away from me. And it's, there are different muscles, and then there are muscles that are around the shoulder girdle that make your, your wings wider. And um, as, as well as the, the shoulders being wider away from the body because of the, the sort of action, uh, underneath that, you should find that you have a lot of room for movement because you're not carrying the weight with your spine. So we could try that in our little standing thing. You'll have to excuse the lag on uh, one of my cameras there. I haven't worked out the technology to make it run at the same pace as the other one. But um, if you do, do the same thing, say, say you're doing a sun salute and you want to bring your arms up. Instead of um, lifting them up with your shoulders, as soon as you, well, you can swing them up there, but as soon as you get, get there, grab all the fingers and pull away. If, if you do that, you'll find that the shoulders are actually free of the neck and throat. You won't have that usual thing of having to hold the weight up with your chest, neck and throat. So the shoulders can drop wide, um, pulling, um, using perfectly of the fingers to pull wide will help your arms straighten with the shoulders still uh, either side of you and behind you. And this, the, the spine should be free. So instead of uh, putting your chin in, if you want to come forwards and up, 
it's safe to lead with the face because your shoulders are not putting on your neck. So the spine underneath the neck will move forwards through your shoulders. So you've got a feeling of the shoulders behind you and the face in front of you, the spine between those things sitting forwards. Actually, the weight in the shoulders can drop behind you. And they'll do something, but, but they'll do the same thing that they were doing when they were white. See? So you end up with an openness to space that is actually helped by the lifted arms rather than hampered. So, yeah, a nice, short and sweet little trick for um, my free members and, and people on, on YouTube and Facebook. Um, I shall, yeah, I hope, I hope that was of some value. It, it's such a simple thing. Um, you can go around lifting your arms up and, and f forever, not knowing that there's another option. The, the taking of the weight with the hands and gets you to work out how the shoulders more naturally um, can be free of the spine. And when you're in a situation where the spine itself is through the shoulders and forwards, you don't need to hold your shoulders up anymore. Um, but their own weight dropping behind you will keep your arms up. So, so you, uh, yeah, you can work out how to have arms that are up without you having to pull on your neck to do it. Okay, that will free up shoulders. I, I shall um, do some specific shoulder opening postures uh, for my premium members now. And um, I hope that was useful. Feel free to share it around as a, a five minute trick um, on Facebook um, and YouTube and anywhere else you see fit. And I shall see you um, very soon. Bye now.